This is the Neat King Bee, and recently it's come down in price in the UK, making it a really good buy, especially when you look at some of the road offerings. Now, what makes this microphone quite different, obviously, is the shape. It looks quite nice, actually. I quite like the shape of this microphone. It's quite unusual. It's got a 34 millimeter gold sputtered capsule. When they say gold sputtered, I always think of you know, something like little gnomes with a little paintbrush going on it but um, it's got a gold sputtered capsule 34 millimeters which in English is 1.34 inches now having that large capsule means that it can go very low in the base and this one certainly does it goes from 16 Hertz right up to 20 kilohertz most people don't want that 16 kilohertz for their voice but for instruments you probably do want it especially if you're going to record a church organ or something like that but not many instruments go down much below 20 hurts anyway church organs yet yeah, they growl right down there but everything else is right further up it will take very loud sounds at 140 spl 140 db is loud you can probably put a trumpet right into this and it's going to be perfectly okay this is a, a robust microphone but not only is it robust but when you're recording quiet sounds you want a microphone that's going to be not making too much self noise of its own this one is extremely quiet at 89 db that's really on a, on a level with the rode nt1 and it's got a self noise of 6 dba so we're on that kind of level so that makes this one a really good price at the moment because it's under 200 pounds at amazon so it's it's going at a good price um, I think actually it's come down an awful lot in recent in the past year. The signal to noise ratio is excellent and the the only downside of this microphone I would say is its weight. It's actually 2.47 pounds, nearly two and a half pounds. That means you need a stand that's pretty robust because um, if you try and boom this thing, it's, you, you need a really seriously strong stand to hold that weight. It's a bit like those larger um, dynamics from Rode, the uh, the podcasters, those sort of things. They're quite heavy and you need to support them. So I tend to support mine vertically so all the weight goes downwards and it's not on an arm so that nothing topples because this is a heavy monster. I like the look of it, but it's a bit overweight. It comes with a honeycomb filter on the front to help stop plosives and that kind of thing. And this shock mount, which is open on the front, which suggests that it's going to be used or it's it's designed to be used for it with instruments because you can put it up against cabinets. Now, unlike the Lewitt mounts, this one is rounded at the front. It's not flat. The Lewitt mounts are flat, so you can get the microphone right up against the cabinet. This one, you're going to be just a little bit further back because it's rounded. So what I'm going to do is test the effectiveness of the, uh, the mount as how it works. So I'm now tapping the stand. Now tapping the mount itself. And just to test the microphone for resonances and whatever, here's the body. Let's see if this thing works with plosives. I'm gonna be a bit closer and uh, here we go. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I actually got it right. That's amazing. I normally can't say it properly without stuttering. So first take really good so it seems to be okay with plosives this honeycomb thing does work up to a point it doesn't come with any form of foamy and if you put a foamy on it it looks a little bit strange because it's a different shape so you do need this thing if you're going to speak closely to the thing but if you go close does that bass get really really overbearing so that's the sound i've lowered my voice but um hopefully the bass hasn't become so overpowering that it's unpleasant to listen to so that's the sound of this microphone head on. Now, as far as rejection goes, let's try this. This is the microphone. I'm doing it. Microphone from the front. This is the microphone from the side. This is the microphone from the rear. Back to the side. And I'm back to the front again. Now, in all honesty, I have tried this microphone and I do like it an awful lot. They do the cheaper one as well, but this is the, the larger one. In fact, I was so impressed with the cheaper one, I wanted to try this one as well because this is really quite a nice microphone and I think this is going to get a lot of use from me. So currently going for a good price. I'm going to put a link down below, so if you want to have a look, please click on the link. 
It doesn't cost you any more, but it helps me. So if you want to get one, please do. Or not only that, what this one, there's the other one, the smaller one. I forget what it's called. The neat, this is the king bee. And there's another bee as well. But it's the, the other bee is under £100. I think it's under £90. It's a very, very cheap microphone. So the, the, uh, the cheaper one goes round about £90. And I think this one currently is being sold roughly around about £150, £160. That's pretty good um, for what you're getting here. I think that's for the sound you're getting. It's very, very good. Maybe those prices won't hold up. But I'll put a link below and please have a look because I think this one's worth it. Hope to see you next time. Cheers for now.